New study could explain why you're still feeling some lingering symptoms even years after recovering from COVID-19. We're joined now by the authors of the study, Dr. Michael Lawrence of Corwell Health and Dr. Bengt Arnentz with Michigan State University's College of Human Medicine. Thank you both so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. Dr. Lawrence, I want to start by asking you what exactly your research found when comparing the long COVID participants to the healthy, fully recovered control group. Sure. Um, you know, we, we were quite interested in COVID and differentiating those who do recover and those who do not. Um, and, and we really tried to extend previous research and work in this area. And what our study looked at is do these groups differ in terms of cognitive functioning, emotional functioning, quality of life, and various biomarkers. And similar to previous research, what we found is even though individuals with COVID often complain of various cognitive symptoms, they actually on objective testing look very similar to those who recover quickly. What we did find different, however, is individuals with long COVID do report increased symptoms of anxiety and depression and do struggle more from a quality of life standpoint. I think what was most interesting about this study is some of the biomarker changes that we have seen that I think can help explain some of these differences between the group and validate patient self-report. And that's really Dr. Arnott's uh, field of expertise. So then, Dr. Arnens, I'll ask you, why has it previously been difficult for doctors to figure out maybe why some COVID patients develop these long-term symptoms while others do not? I think, you know, some of these uh, biomarkers that we use are rather uh, novel, and we were able not to look at biomarkers and uh, that target specifically brain functions, you know, the, the ability of the brain to adapt and deal with stress. And one of the biomarkers we found was lower in people that didn't recover, people long COVID was uh, nerve growth factor, which is a thing that you actually now can measure in the blood. So I think that was one reason. The other thing is that we were very um, theory driven. We, we want to target specific system in the study. So we looked at inflammatory system and we also found that one of the markers for inflammation was much higher in patients with long COVID that didn't recover. And that, that marker is actually also very, very interesting because it might explain why long COVID patients have such dramatic fatigue, such severe fatigue. Yeah, I'm sure it's frustrating for these patients and it's good that it looks like there's some research where they can finally start getting some answers. Um, Dr. Lawrence, how many people would you expect are still impacted by these symptoms? I mean, when you look at the first round of COVID, it was a global pandemic. And so we're talking individuals in the millions. They say 10 to 20 percent of individuals affected still deal with long COVID related symptoms. And this has a significant impact on the individual level, but also on the societal level in terms of the economic impact. Many of the individuals that we work with and see their life has been significantly disrupted. So if people are seeing this and want to read a little bit more about this research and maybe some of the treatment options, where can they find that information? Well, we are, we, we are going to, you know, it's a publication coming out now, and they're more than willing to turn to College of Human Medicine or to Corwell, of course, so we can get further information. Great. And we'll have a link to that on our website, too, at woodtv.com. Thank you both for your time and for this research. Thank you. Thank you.